Well, I would like to welcome everybody to another meditation intro, and uh, this is a um, kind of a beginning talk about what meditation is capable of doing when it is used to uh, tune our consciousness, and then we'll begin a silent uh, meditation where I will begin maybe to talk us, you know, into the relaxation portion for a few minutes, and then I will let everybody go. Um, so that they can continue to meditate on your own, right? You know, it's wise to maybe meditate for, you know, as long as 20 minutes in this silent, you know, watchful state. And, uh, you know, my classes that I do live on Zoom, um, and I do do classes um, Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, Wednesdays at 8 p.m., and Thursdays at 10 a.m., so uh, morning, afternoon, and evening. And those classes are available at, at my website, uh, thedancingbuddha.ca. But the idea of, uh, with these classes is that we do something very similar. We talk about what meditation is capable of. Then we do a meditation together for about 20 minutes. And then at the end, we begin to talk about what we are experiencing. So meditation at its most basic level is sitting in contentment. If you were to strip it down and remove all, all the rules, it is simply sitting in contentment. So physically, it would be wise for you to find a place right now, you know, get comfortable, because <laughs> you're going to want to sit in contentment <laughs> for a little bit, you know. Or if you're lying down, just make sure you're not so comfortable you fall asleep. <laughs> but again, you know, meditation starts anywhere. And if meditation is a way for putting you to sleep, you know, perhaps you will begin to see those benefits, you know, are just the beginning of the benefits of meditation, you know, if we can actually remain, you know, aware as well. So, so awareness is, is an important aspect of what we're doing here. <clears throat> but really, no more rules than that. In fact, I believe my teacher taught me that we get lost in the rules that are attached to meditation. You know, we forget that, you know, it is about sitting in contentment. And we begin to focus, focus on the rules about posture and the rules about breathing and the rules about this and that from this teacher and that teacher. Until finally, all we are doing is acting upon rule upon rule upon rule. And it can feel very much discontentment you know we can feel like man this is meditation <laughs> it's not that relaxing right <laughs> right so we can feel discontent at sitting in contentment so something is being lost here something is lost right so today just don't worry about the rules <laughs> right don't worry about the rules because today we are simply going to sit in contentment we will sit without a single need, full, at a table full of food. No thanks. I just ate. Right? No desire to have more. So if we do not know what contentment feels like, it's a good time to give yourself permission right now to pretend to be content. To pretend to need absolutely nothing for the next 60 minutes. And imagine this. If you pretend to be content, sitting there, and begin to watch those parts of you that are not content. Those parts of you that cannot sit still during meditation. And you're able to one by one cure those things. So that those parts that were discontent were now content and sitting with you. Would you still be um, living in a pretend state of contentment? 
Or would you have solved the riddle and found contentment? By starting at the point of pretending. <laughs> pretending to be content is almost as powerful as being content. <laughs> it shows so many things within us that cannot sit still. So this powerful state of sitting in contentment, which was the reason for meditation at the beginning, is full of power. Imagine how it can change you, needing nothing. Imagine in whatever way you wish, but really, sitting without a single need in meditation. What would you have left to do but to watch your breath? now found without a rule without trying right a natural state we are not watching our breath as if it was a choice or a movement from here to there we are sitting needing absolutely nothing and we are left only with sitting still and our breath so this is how true meditation works, right? Our breath is found from an act of stillness, not of change. And if in perfect balance, if you're having a great day, <laughs> we could sit in this silent contentment without interruption for the whole 60 minutes. And really one day you'll sit that way for your whole life. But maybe not today. It very rarely starts that way. Today, if the mind is noisy, what then? Think though. If truly content, would we really be bothered by a mind that was not quiet? So we're not content. <laughs> we have to find that place. <laughs> Right? This powerful stillness leads to a state where we cannot be threatened and we simply watch. Become a watcher. How wonderfully freeing it is not to be pushed into action by every unwanted energy around us. Does that sound familiar? Can you not stop yourself? <laughs> you know, from acting when you see something wrong. <laughs> You're chained to it. You're not free. We allow freedom to others easily because we need nothing. So we can't be hurt. We should be giving them freedom anyways. It's theirs. But because we give them freedom freely, it leaves our mind with nothing to do but watch. No longer fighting. No longer defending. Watching. Without need. In contentment. So meditation becomes a powerful state of watching energies within us, both cooperative and uncooperative, without feeling threatened. Watch first understand next and then heal and bring that energy from the past where it began where we started it back to the present in a healed state where it can sit in contentment now no more energy is working against us now we are free in the present day but where does this uncooperative energy come from from us, of course, <laughs> making us the, us the perfect healer. <laughs> this is energy we ourselves started in the past, and it continues in the present. It never stopped. Our early strategies that protected us in the past, but are now found competing for control of our present moment. And we can see that when we try to meditate. Our past solutions are now causing discomfort in the present. They're arguing with us. Our own energy taking away our freedom. 
And we started it <laughs> in the past. <laughs> and we're the perfect one to stop it if we know how. A simple knot of consciousness easily untied by watching and understanding, my teacher would say. Learn to untie this knot. Knots are uncomfortable when they're emotional knots. <laughs> and that is their beauty. <laughs> we can't live with them. <laughs> this is because we feel inner conflict. Energy working against itself. And this is not our natural state. It makes us feel weak, right? We are born to be free and powerful. We are feeling weak, but we are not weak. We are two strong energies working against itself. And for this reason, a great opportunity exists for those who learn to untie these ways of being, these emotional knots, and bring their true energies into focus together in cooperation, freeing their energy. Imagine never even having felt such energy because we have always been working against ourselves. What does it feel like when we cooperate at that level? The Buddha knows. The Buddha mind knows. So this is meditation that brings emotional healing for how can we expect our past energies to be content in the present if at some level they are hurt? or sad, or scared, right? We can only bring these energies started in the past back to the present if we help them. Help them, love them, see their value, right? And for this reason, the Buddha used meditation not just to sit as a watcher, right? As some Buddhist sects have stopped there, just simply watching the energy, right? But the Buddha... He began to examine and question such energies and until he brought healing to his past traumas, his fears, and his misconceptions. And once healed, that energy that once opposed him, that brought him trouble day and night, returned to the present in a contented state because nothing was holding it to the past any longer. One energy in the present is our true estate and meditation is a key to returning to that place so for the next few minutes let's close your eyes and I will begin you know talking us down for a few seconds and then quietly slip out the back door <laughs> so thanks again and we'll see you next time So we just close our eyes and allow every part of the body to find comfort. If we're not comfortable, shift around. This is a journey for everybody. <laughs> so we make sure all parts of us is com are comfortable. And we ask for permission from all of this energy that has so much to do, so much going on for our help, right? Protecting us, keeping us safe. But we ask for permission to sit here for a few moments in complete contentment because we are safe, we are full, and it is time to sit in our truest state. So just sit in contentment And if we are approached by an energy that seems to want to challenge meditation, we simply relax and allow that to happen. His choice. Our freedom is not based on controlling others, is it? 
we cannot be controlled by these words, just allow them to form in complete contentment, always open, always willing to cooperate, but when challenged, not threatened, for our power is choice. The choice to continue on one path or to continue another path. And often this is the case where we meet up with such energies that are stronger than us, it seems. But they are not stronger. All energy has the same power. But not all energy has the same confidence. Sit in contentment in complete confidence and see that no energy can really control us. We simply give in or give up because our confidence is not quite where it could be. So again, relax and sit in complete contentment.